Hi, back again. Um, doing some work on some more walls and um, I have been impressed to put out a message about fear. Um, listening to an audio version of a book called Conversations with God. There are multiple books. This is just my understanding. <clears throat> many, many wonderful, amazing truths and insights in this text. Um, if you are at the point where you can accept these truths. Okay. Many times I have spoken about the faces, the masks of fear, the faces that fear takes on. There is only ever, and this is, you know, present in many texts, of course, in miracles being one, you, and this is what free will is, okay? You have one choice to choose for love or to choose fear. That is the choice. That is the choice. That is what free will is. It is the choice to choose to be like your reality, the divine you, or to choose against it or to choose other than it, okay? Which is fear. That is in thought, word, deed, and everything in between. So I... As I'm listening to this text, I'm uh, inspired to revisit this yet again from slightly altered perspective, but still the same. <clears throat> and the message was just that in the world, this choice, this one choice, the choice for fear, assumes many forms and many faces. And we have to be very careful. We have to be very cautious because it is very easy when, when you're, it is very easy for your human, for your humanness to say, well, this is wrong and that is wrong and that person is wrong and this choice is wrong and that action is wrong and on and on and on. It is very easy for us to judge to perceive a right and a wrong, and then to project that out into the world, okay? Now, you know other videos that I have posted in regard to racism, for example, all right? And I have said racism isn't real. It, it doesn't really exist. It's a concept, it's a label, it's an idea. And all it does is distract from the truth, which is fear. It's a choice for fear. Now, I'm putting out this caution because we all, all of us here, can, if we choose, have an experience of fear. We can have thoughts of fear. We can pretend to be other than what we really are. We can make that choice. That's what free will is. Please, please, please be very, very cautious. Watch your minds, watch your belief systems for what you deem as acceptable fear and what you deem as non-acceptable fear. Because that is what, that is what I understand to be occurring out here is we, if I have a fear that I project out into the world, but my fear takes on a different face than a person who is uh, deemed a racist, for example. And I'm sorry I keep using this, but it seems to be one of the most triggering ways of getting this out into the open. So, you know, if, if, I, if I behave in such a way and someone calls me a racist because I say there's no such thing as racism, right? It doesn't really exist. And then I'm a racist. Okay. Well, that 
that same person who calls me a racist has some kind of fear within them that projects that idea out into the rest of the world. Because things like this cannot exist unless we have them inside of us. So everything that you see that comes into your purview, that comes into your awareness, is a projection of something within you that is showing up to be transcended, transformed, to be, to get your attention. It's there just to say, hey, I'm here. Look at me. And why? Because we are in a time of ascension. We are in the midst of a, a time when we are able to awaken more fully what this means is that we are able to allow Christ, the truth of who we are, to live through our bodies, the true essence of who we really are. We are able to realize this in our <laughs> human experience. We are actually able to transcend the limitations of human in this lifetime. But what that means is we have to shed the untruths. We have to shed the errors. We have to put down the cross. We have to cast away the things of the world that aren't our, rea are our reality. We have to set aside all that no longer serves the divine aspect aspects of us okay the truth of us so i'm just putting this out there really quickly to watch your minds watch your minds watch your beliefs fear takes on many faces what you see in another you can only see because it's present within you judge not In peace and love, may you be blessed.